Hi, and welcome back to the Happy Rural Homestead. My name's Jen, for all of you who are new, and I'm so thrilled to be able to introduce you to our newest and probably most unconventional homestead animal, our two reindeer. Now, this has been about three years in the making. We have been planning for these guys for a very long time. So I'm gonna share with you kind of our story of how we got here and introduce you to the boys today. We've been planning for these guys for about three years now, and we were finally able to bring them home back in October of last year. And this has just been such a, a dream come true for us. This is something that we never um, had on our radar. We would never have expected that this is where we would be, you know, especially when we were first getting, you know, first dating or getting married, we never, thought that we would be here. Let's back up and rewind a little bit and just tell you kind of how we got to be here, uh, what made us decide to get reindeer in the first place. And we've known for a long time that we wanted land, but really we just wanted it for space initially. And we maybe would have considered gardens or chickens, but we did not have any of this in mind when we originally said, you know, we wanted to look for some land. So when we started to talk about it and we started to actually look for properties, we started talking about, you know, what would we do with this um, land if we ever got it? And, you know, chickens, gardens, those were the obvious things that we were kind of starting to be interested in. But the more we researched and started to find out all the health benefits of raising our own food, not just growing gardens, but chickens and cows and raising animals for meat, we just we got really excited about the possibility of raising our own food and becoming more self-sufficient. Well, that kind of evolved into, you know, we got really creative with our dreams. They were, you know, sometimes kind of crazy. And, you know, I would say that our that our reindeer dreams are probably sounding a bit crazy too. Um, but that, that was really, we just started dreaming. And, you know, we came up with it one day where we thought, you know, like, what about reindeer? Do people do that? Is it even a thing? Um, because I guess to back up a little, to, we were trying to come up with creative ways that we might be able to make an income for home, from home because we really like the idea of running our own business one day. So we started, you know, looking into that, you know, Googling, you know, reindeer farms. And uh, we were very, you know, happily surprised to find out that there was a reindeer farm. It was about four hours away from us at the time. And, you know, we, we went and visited because I think the first question we had was, you know, what are they even like? Because we'd never seen one in real life and we didn't know, you know, what their disposition was. You know, we knew nothing about them. So we went and visited a local reindeer farm. Uh, we had to drive about four hours to visit, and we were able to connect with the the people who owned it. We we've you know connected with a lot of reindeer farmers since then, and we found that there is just such an amazing community of reindeer farmers that are so you know helpful and willing to share their knowledge, and you know very inviting to their farms. So we visited farms whenever we could. We got as much experience as we could. We tried to read as much as we could. There wasn't as much out there, um, you know, available, but the best thing was getting with some of the reindeer farmers and learning from them. So some of the things that we had to learn about was, you know, the husbandry, their diet, what did they eat, what are their needs, you know, what do our pens need to look like, are there, you know, state regulations, all these kinds of things. So it really, it took a long time to really research them and prepare um, if you saw one of our videos from probably about a year ago now, we were just putting in the fence posts here and we weren't telling you what animals we were planning on bringing home. So, you know, just putting up these eight foot deer fences and getting ready for them, we had to remodel some of the stuff in the barn to make their pens, you know, appropriate for them. Um, it really took a lot of, of work and research and, you know, connecting with people before we were able to bring them home. We did come to find that, you know, we actually fell in love with these animals the first time that we interacted with them. And, you know, they just going around and seeing them with so many different farms, you know, they're just such a lovable creature. And, you know, we found out that they're very adaptable animals. 
Um, so we could have them here. We, you know, we didn't even know if we could have them in Indiana. And uh, we also learned that it's believed that they were domesticated even before horses. So they have been used, people have been working with these animals for so long. Why reindeer? Why did we decide reindeer? Well, it started out as really, you know, just kind of a fun idea. Um, but the more we researched, we, you know, got to talking about, you know, we could provide educational tours and an authentic experience for families to come and interact with them, come visit the farm, you know, not just the reindeer, but all the animals we have here. And, you know, that's why we're sharing our story here as well, um, because we want to, you know, be able to bring them to you. So, where where are we now with them? They came home at the end of October. Um, we've just been spending a lot of time working with them, trying to bond with them. You know, we've got them on halters. We're working on lead training, um, and they are just such social animals. So it's been really cool to you know to just spend this time with them, especially when it's snowing. They really love that. So it's my favorite time to be out here with them. Um, now I'm going to introduce you to the boys. Um, we got two boys. They are from the same herd. They are both um, just under a year old right now. They were born one day apart. <laughs> um, so they've been together pretty much since they were born, literally. Um, the first one is Odin, and he is kind of our more independent. He's very majestic. Um, he's very playful. He loves affection. So when we work on training with him, the best thing we can do is just give him lots of love, lots of scratches, and, and he loves that. And he's bonded really well with our donkeys since they share a fence line. Um, and then our second boy is Klaus, who's standing behind me now. Um, and Klaus is the other of the two. He's younger by one day, uh, but he is very affectionate. He's very, you know, gentle. And he's kind of more of an entertainer. He's very friendly and very treat, treat driven. So training with him, you know, we bring out treats. He loves that. Odin doesn't care about that so much. He just wants to be scratched, but Klaus loves a good treat. We have so much more to share with you. We have a lot of new animals that we haven't shared yet. Um, so we're really excited to get to share those with you um, soon here. And you know, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe because we'll be updating you on what's going on here. And you know, we have a lot planned, so we would love to you know, bring you along. And please go ahead and leave some comments if you have questions or anything you wanna know, we'd love to hear about it. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.